Hey guys, welcome to another Anki add-on guide video. We all love Anki for its feature set, its algorithm, its extendability, but there are some points where Anki really is lacking in, and one of these points definitely is its visual presentation and gamification elements. If you compare Anki to services like Memrise or Quizlet, you will find that all of these services feature one thing, and that is a lot of visual feedback to provide you with positive reinforcement while going through your reviews. In Memrise, for instance, you have a progress bar at the top, you have different types of feedback that are presented to you when answering a question correctly. So in this case, for instance, I get a visual marker here that confirms that I've actually selected the right option. All of these aspects serve to just encourage you to go through your reviews and also give you a positive feeling of achievement as you learn new information. Now with Anki, it's far more bare bones and that's why in this video we will be concentrating on a number of add-ons that can greatly enhance this visual feature set. The add-ons I want to present specifically are the progress bar add-on, the answer confirmation add-on, the visual feedback for reviews add-on and the puppy reinforcement add-on. Let's start with the progress bar add-on. This is pretty straightforward as its name might imply. It simply adds a new feature and a new widget to your reviewing screen, and that is this bar here at the top. As you move through your reviews, the bar indicates the progress by moving along to the right side, both giving you a sense of achievement and also the ability to tell where exactly you are in your reviewing session. One other positive aspect about this bar is that it makes these review counts here at the bottom unnecessary. I usually disable these by going into the preference menu and then um, changing these options to be uh, disabled right here by using the show remaining card count option here. And the reason I do that is because I don't want to get any hints as to which queue the card is in because just knowing if a card is new or if it's a review can already serve as a, um, a hint and make your answer much easier and that's something you normally don't want. So that's one other aspect where this add-on can help. It can provide you with a sense of where you are in your deck without knowing which exact card queue the um, cards stem from. But aside of the, from that, uh, of course, it's also just a very easy to understand, easy to grasp way um, to just see how far you've come in one specific review session. All right, let's move on to the next add-on, and that is a very simple add-on as well, the so-called answer confirmation add-on. Let me quickly install this so I can present this to you. As always, with these add-ons, you just have to copy the add-on code and then restart Anki after pasting it in this installation window and hitting OK. So having restarted Anki, you'll see that the main change here is the way in which feedback is provided for your answers. With this add-on installed, anytime you answer a question, you will be presented with a small tooltip at the bottom left corner, which confirms the answer option you've chosen. This has two main advantages. First of all, it can also serve as some kind of positive reinforcement. Just seeing the phrase good in the bottom left corner can already have a positive impact and just make you um, feel more accomplished. And the other advantage, of course, is that if you're using the keyboard mainly, then having a way to confirm that you've actually chosen the right option is always great to have. Okay, so that's as far as this add-on is confirmed. It's a very straightforward add-on and also very useful, especially if you're using the keyboard mainly with Anki. Let's move on to the next add-on, and this one is very similar to the previous one, but it differs in some very important aspects. Once again, let me install this quickly. At the same time, I'm also going to uninstall the answer confirmation add-on so that these don't interfere with each other. As always, once again, just have to copy the add-on code, paste it in, restart Anki, and the add-on should be installed. As you'll see, this add-on, in contrast to the other one, only presents you with two different states. When you answer a question and hit one of these options right here, hard, good, and or easy, then that is regarded as a passing grade by the add-on, and you're presented by a green circle in the middle. Choosing the failure option, on the other hand, the again option will present you with a gray circle. It's very simple in that, it just provides you with positive and negative feedback depending on the option you choose. Now, what I like about this add-on is that it's very central to your viewing field. You have to, don't have to look to the bottom left corner. 
and also its simplicity just by presenting with a sim you with a simple passing grade or a failing grade or rather a failing feedback and passing feedback feedback um, that can just help just give you a once again a sense of achievement just seeing this green circle in the middle can all also of course confirm that you've chosen the right option but also um, just make you feel better about your reviews and about the uh, your learning experience in total so yeah that's as far as this add-on is concerned also very straightforward and also a great way to add some more visual feedback to Anki let's move on to the last add-on which is a very fun add-on and that is the puppy reinforcement add-on so what does this do? Well, it's pretty similar to the ones beforehand, but there is one main difference, and that is that the feedback provided by this add-on is provided more sporadically. Instead of being presented with a confirmation screen or a tooltip for any type of answer you do, you only get provided with these encouraging messages every now and then. And in learning psychology, this is called intermittent reinforcement. So what advantage does this have? Well, as you go through your reviews, every now and then you will see a tooltip in the bottom left corner, which will include both an encouraging message and also a nice picture of a puppy, as you can see right here. And usually these uh, messages are context sensitive. So as you go through the, your reviews and just review more and more cards, then the messages will also change. They will provide you with more encouraging um, phrases and will also help you to just keep on going through your reviews and just make Anki a bit more of a fun experience. Um, these messages, as I've said before, are provided intermittently, so they you don't just see the message every 10 cards or every 20 cards, but rather they vary a bit. They're a bit randomly spread around your reviews, which once again can help serve that intermittent type of reinforcement. Alright guys, that's as far as the basic use of these add-ons uh, is concerned. As a last part, I wanted to just quickly demonstrate a few configuration options which you can use to customize some of these. Let's start with the progress bar add-on. As always with these types of simple ad Anki add-ons, you can customize them by editing the source code, source code. So in this case, we will just have to find the progress bar uh, entry here in the add-ons menu. Click on edit and in here we will then be presented with the source code and a number of options right here that you can customize. Uh, these are labeled by the add-on author so you know exactly which one to touch and which one to probably stay away from. So the things you can customize about this for instance is if the progress bar should show you the um, percentage uh, gauge on it. So let's activate that for instance. You can also change the color of the progress bar, change both the percentage text color but also the background color of the um, bar itself. You can also change its position on the screen, um, whether it should be oriented horizontally or vertically, and a lot of other different options. There's a lot of configurability in this add-on, which is very, which is of, of course always fantastic if you like to just customize the experience to your own needs. Alright, that's as far as that's concerned. Let's just quickly restart Anki just to showcase this uh, small configuration change. As you can see, you're now presented with a percentage stat right here. All right, let's go over to the next add-on that can be customized, and that is the Puppy Reinforcement add-on. Now, what this does, what you can customize about this one, is the pictures you're presented with. And the way you can do this is by going into the add-ons menu, then clicking on Browse and Install. Uh, or rather, sorry, you're going to click on the Open Add-ons folder option. And in here you can then just locate the puppy reinforcement directory. And as you'll see, all of the pictures that the add-on uses are located right here. And any kind of picture you'd like to add to the add-on, you can just move into the folder and the add-on will then automatically use them. So if you're more of a cat person, not of a puppy person or dog person, then you can simply go ahead and just replace these pictures with the ones that are more uh, to your liking. All right, guys, that's as far as the this video is concerned. I hope you enjoyed these different options to provide some more feedback to Anki. If you use all of them, you will probably be able to convert your Anki experience mode to a type of a Skinner box with a lot of positive reinforcements as you go through your reviews. I hope you'll find that useful. Once again, guys, make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Make sure to su subscribe. Um, there will be new videos coming out over the next week covering more aspects about the reviewing experience, but also about other parts of Anki. Until then, thanks for watching again and good luck with your studies, guys.
Bye.